So the whole lifestyle thing, not just the, the piece in, but everything is on your mind all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. Really? Yeah, 100%. Well, the kind of kleptomaniac going to grab the shit off the counter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Don't like to pay for nothing anyway. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. It's, I'd like to say no, you know? But is that is that the force of habit? Is that is that a, a habitual thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just... For me, anyway, for me, I can't speak for everyone, yeah. you know? For me, yeah. It's so curious that, that it goes past the point, of, almost at the point of no return. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I even got back yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I've just been in a Fed station, really. Really? Yeah, a million percent. Really? What'd you get bagged for? Tequila Keller podcast. Tequila Keller official dot com. Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Tequila Keller. We're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Elevator's up and we're moving. Off we go. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Killer Keller podcast. Uh, it's another fine street culture day. Big shout out to all the regulars, everybody that comes in, checks in, tunes in, cops out. Yo. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. For all your sports you know what to do, get on the television app, free download, iPhone, Android, for all of those athleticisms in the world of street culture ins. Um, whether it's me, Docs, Big Docs, or the uh, Notorious Podcast, you know what it is? Inside the house today. Uh, we worked really hard and tirelessly within the uh, uh, Killer Cow Podcast research team for this gentleman. He does not pull any punches. He is the elusive, one of the original Dons of London. We mean business, one mate bail. It's the mighty me rock inside the house. Hello everybody. <laughs> give us a <laughs> give us on, a pop on Yeah. How are you, my brother? Oh surviving. Surviving? Yeah. Getting by. Yeah, getting by, isn't it? Yeah. How is it getting by at the age you're at with the legacy that you've attained over over a period of time? This is a curious question I think most people want asking. It's been a struggle, not gonna lie. Yeah. It's gonna be it's, yeah, of course. Of course. Talk to me about talk to me about that. You say it's a struggle. It, what in what in what regard? What what mainly upholding, or raising raising <laughs> <laughs> raising pain? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get straight into it. The raising game. If mm. if anyone knows about that, it's my man here. Tell mm. us about the raising game, brother. Well, it's getting harder. <laughs> it's harder now. Yeah. You still yeah. you still painting now and with illegal you know activities and not as much as I would like to. I yeah. will get back on it though. Yeah, I will be getting back on it. A million percent. It's in my blood. It's in your blood. Yeah. So you don't pay for your paint. No. Have you ever paid for your paint? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't pay for it as a as a as a habit. Mm, no. No. No way. <clears throat> no way. Is it is the thrill of like raising equal to painting? Is that in a way, yeah. Yeah, you get a buzz out of it. Talk to me about that, me rock. Tell, talk to me about that. Getting that away with it without paying for it, and you still got your money in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. And that transfers into all different sorts of yeah raising capital. Yeah, yeah. Because I hear so many stories. I mean, you've probably watched the podcast. You know these stories, the classic scenarios of like people just the entry hole of raising paint suddenly expands into raising fucking everything mm -hmm. they want. Yeah. How quickly was that turnaround for you? Oh, boy. Never had an easy upbringing. No. You know, fucking... Family weren't, weren't rich, you know, fucking... Dad had 14 brothers and sisters, so... Irish background. For all crooks. <laughs> all crooks. All crooks. Yeah, so... So, so, so did, they, did, they, did they move from Ireland? Into yeah, the, yeah, my yeah. dad, yeah. From were you me. still born, were you born then? Yeah, 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 and then went straight back to Ireland. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where about an island, was that? Cork. Lovely part yeah, of the world, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then, um, yeah, moved back over here, and then, yeah, family all over London. Mainly, it was originally from Labour Grove. 
Yeah. Goldbourne Road, actually. Really? Yeah, that's where I first lived. Scam territory. Mm-hmm. You know Scam well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you used to knock about it all. I mean, you as a younger, I mean, Tish mentioned it on on podcast, Big Up Tish, you know, mm-hmm. she shows a lot of high regard for you. Very, very nice. Yeah, you know. Very respect for her. And I think it's really nice when people, you know, you know, tip hat to... Yeah, yeah. But you were a young gun back then for them. Fuck, you know, they were all my idols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. who else was your idols back in the day, bro? Growing up in Church Road, Holsden, after Lubbock Grove, Round Holsden, yeah. it was... Um, well, originally, who who I started doing graph with yeah. was um, Tube. Big up Tube. Yeah. Wow. Tube and his, oh. his brother. Mm. Um, shouldn't have said his name, really. So but, uh, trans. Yeah. And, um, yeah, started with them. How and old were you at that time? Boy, from primary school. I really? started, yeah, from... First started graph. Primary school, yeah. And these were your idols, these were... Yeah. Proper top dance yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah, TKS. Yeah. Yeah. Diet. Yeah. Fucking diet as well, yeah. Yeah. It's mad to think of that time being so rich with these these true, like, f- flame holders. Yeah, and like round, round holes and it was like fucking, yeah, 147, Chico, yeah. Fez. Pinfold. Yeah, Fez, fucking, yeah. yeah uh, Fast, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, yeah. Die, mm. four oh six. Mm. You know, um, loads of other people. DGT, all. Page Mass, Stage USM. Keep them rolling, brother. Yeah, more names, you know, more names. Let's send them up. And uh, yeah, it was fucking. And then it was all, all from there. Then really from. Moving with Tube and all that with his little brother, it was all fucking from Harrow on the Hill then, where right. everyone used to meet at Harrow on the Hill, mm-hmm. you know, and it was all fucking, all of them like, from Harrow on the Hill. Mm. Desire, Kiss, 42, his brother, mm. um, fucking loads of people. Yeah, it was cast, in it? Cast. Cast, wow, well, yeah. Fucking. The insides of Fiasco. Oh, wow, okay. Fucking, um, Set Free. Mm. Fucking Fun Box. Fun Box. Yeah, fucking, um, Yes, I. Yeah, wow, yeah. yeah. Fucking, yeah, loads of people, man. Loads. What's it? See, the pixelation will never do this handsome man justice. But what we're talking about here is clearly sending your mind. I can tell by the by yeah, sending you. Yeah, you know, your, like when you try to think so much, bro, your mind goes blank. That. Yeah, just it's taking like, you to another world. Yeah, though. I can yeah, see. Just I, trying to, just trying to remember all them good times. Yeah, you know, fucking. Did the good times? It's so interesting, man. This is going to be a great podcast already. Yeah. Take, does these good times? It was clearly a lot of dons there. Pioneers. You yeah, were a younger tilt, cat. Fucking tilt. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, Tish. Tish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone used to meet calm. Aaron Hill. Yeah, calm. Yeah, I still see him. Yeah, he's around the corner from me now. Yeah, yeah. big up, calm, big up to yeah. you. Yeah, 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 to you, fucking. It's all steam. Mm. Big up, steam, my yeah. brother. Fucking yeah. yeah. rest in peace, Ray's. Rest in peace, Ray's. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. That's right. Um, d- did you feel being a younger cat in and amongst these? Powerhouses. They didn't really like, like, with us because we were so young, like, they didn't really want us around them, if you know what I mean. Really? Yeah. Or was it because it was too hot? It would bait you up? Ba- yeah, bait them up. like, yeah, probably because we were little kids, they didn't want to really be around us, innit? You know, probably a bad look or hot, innit? Like, yeah, probably yeah. bring them attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should have been at school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunking yeah. school, you know? So, fucking, it was like a. BT going around. I think his name was Shaft, I think his name was. Ah. Yeah, he was always onto graphers. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm right sure that's what his name was. Shaft. Shaft, yeah, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you feel the pressure of like having to raise your game in amongst that kind of clientele? You know, these dons, was it like the... Was it uh, like... I remember 
one time it was me and my little brother, he was even younger than us, yeah. two years younger, and trans, and um, we went to East Coast to this art shop, yeah. and 30 mils then were fucking hard to get. Yeah. And because um, we were little kids, they let us actually get behind the counter, and we actually cleaned up the whole thing, the shelf of 30 mils, and going back to Harrow on the Hill with them, and putting them out, and then everyone kind of took them off us. <laughs> yeah. Really? What's the, they jacked, jacked you for the... Yeah, more or less like, yeah, you know, like, they took them off us. Like, But we didn't give, show them all anyway, obviously. No, no. But, um, keep, a, keep a few back. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, oh, yeah. And then getting rushed by BTs. Yeah. A lot, lot of stuff we used to get away with, though, raising when we were little kids. Give me examples. Yeah. Give, me a, give me a story of, of raising, similarly to what you just said. Because... We were little, kind of school uniform on, yeah. and kind of looking innocent, really, pretending that we were doing just finished school. Mm -hmm. And some of the people, like the staff, they would wouldn't really pay attention to us, you know. And we'd kind of use that to our advantage. And as soon as they turn around, everything's gone. <laughs> How quick is the turnaround of racing? It was just steam through and just poof. yeah, and off we go. Really. Yeah. What was the method? Was it more kind of strategy or was it just fast, noisy, poof, out? It was mainly up the sleeve. Really? Yeah. So up the sleeve, round, yeah. the, round yeah. the belt. Balls in, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Idea told me a story on podcast of how, you know, how the, the wrap around, almost like the Michelin man. Oh, of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrapping them all around the, the t shirt. Everyone used to wear wanted puffer jackets then, didn't it? Like yeah. goose, goose, gooses, yeah. you know, and. Just big enough for them to never... Yeah, to kind of see the jacket full up. What's the craziest raise, raising situation that ever occurred? Give me give me something which sticks out as being, well, yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, probably raising bunt, bunts, you really? know? Yeah, from... Um, it was actually in Labrick Grove. What was that shop called? Um, was it London Graphics? Yeah, London Graphics, yeah. And they used to have kind of a warehouse one, didn't they, in yeah. Labrick Grove? <laughs> If you got in there, you, everything was going on shelves. Yeah. And we got in there one time and um, we just, I mean, bunts were hard to get and one of the top top paints, you mm. know, so <laughs> got in there and we just started cleaning it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, <laughs> next minute, one of us got clocked and where they were trying to be kind of too greedy... They got bagged. Yeah. All their paint got taken off them. Oh, really? Yeah, but not ours. And then got out of there. We went straight to yard then. When I think we did cockfosters. Cock yeah, cockfosters during the day. During the day? Yeah. So when would this be? How old have you been there? Um, I couldn't really say, you know. Um, 16, 17? No, a bit older than that, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, a bit older than that. I'm really terrible with ages as well, you yeah, know, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The times, timelines, yeah. yeah. The timelines yeah. just become a fucking blur, don't they? Mm. God forbid we try and write a book. It just wouldn't happen, would it? Oh, well, well, no way. <laughs> I'll be stuck on the first page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah. It all began with a bang, you yeah, know? Because <laughs> yeah. it does, doesn't it? When you get something so impactful, like a, a culture that's ready built and you just plug yourself into it, it's almost like the... Um, the guidelines are all there. Mm -hmm. All the different things you... And I asked this to Swag the other day, Big Up Swag. I asked yeah, yeah. him about the raising game and, and the, the, the lifestyle of it. And then I asked him the question, is it sustainable long term, the, the culture of graph? Like how it works? You know, because when you're younger, you live with your parents or, mm -hmm. you, you know, you can stay around your mate's house and it's kind of free and easy. But that's where you're almost... That's your training ground. So does it... Sustain. Can you live a lifestyle of it indefinitely? I'd like to say yes. You know, for, with me, it's always in my mind anyway. Even if you're not doing it, you know, it's. I can't speak for everyone, really, but uh, for me, yeah. So the whole lifestyle thing, not just. The, the piece in, but everything is on your mind all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. Really? Yeah, 100%. Or well, the kind of kleptomaniac going to grab the shit off the counter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. 
don't like to pay for nothing anyway. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. It's, I'd like to say no, you know. But is that, is that the force of habit? Is that, is that a, a habitual thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just... For me, anyway, for me, I can't speak for everyone, yeah. you know. For me, yeah. It's so curious that, that it goes past the point, of, almost at the point of no return. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I even got back yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I've just been in a Fed station, really. Really? Yeah, a million percent. Really? What did you get bagged for? Shoplifting. Shoplifting. Yeah. Even now? Yeah, gutted. Yeah? Gutted. Truthfully, I should be in a Fed station right now. Really? Only because I used a fake name. Really? The only reason I got away. Really? Yeah, cool feds at everything. Well, they were all there, they just all... Yeah, it's just... <clears throat> Uh, I'm telling you, watch out for store detectives these days anyway. They're fucking on it. Really? They're on it. They're clamping down. <clears throat> and there's the fucking... Yeah, I got bagged yesterday, to tell the truth. Really? Yeah. How did that feel? That must have fucking sucked. Gutted. Really? Yeah. And it was by the same fucking person. The same person who bagged me a few weeks back. Yeah. It was in a different shop, in a different area. And he, when I saw him, and he's an ex-army dude. Oh, he didn't do anything to you, did he? Yeah, he did. We fucking, we were fighting. But I didn't hit him. Was I wanted to, but I didn't want it to. I knew this geezer what, he's, what he was like. Yeah. And um, I didn't want to hit him because I don't want to get done for another robbery. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want it done as shoplifting as minor. Mm -hmm. And so... I was. Gonna, I said it. I said it to who I was with yesterday. I didn't want to go to this shop because of this man. Mm. And but I didn't say it to him. I said I didn't. I didn't feel like it. And he was like, "Come on, come on." And I didn't want to jinx myself. Mm. But it, it was on my mind. And what happened? I was actually right. I was actually right. As soon as I come to the door, he just steps right in front of me. Oh no. Tried to shove him. He just done some moves on me. We were, we were more or less rocking in the middle of the street. Really? Bare fucking heroes. Uh. Next minute, who I was with come out swinging a bottle, get off him, get off him. Rah, rah, rah. Got him off me, shoving him about, this, that. As I said, this geezer is ex army. He fucking the stories he was even saying yesterday to the Fed about how his uh, ex bomb disposal, <laughs> fucking bare countries he's done this that, the moves he done on me. The really? last time he actually fractured my ribs. Stop it. Yeah, he actually fractured my ribs. What? Yeah, that was only a few weeks back, and then I just recovered from that, and the same thing happened yesterday. Did, did your intuition? After doing it for all these years, must be one of complete and utter sixth sense. You yeah. must have thought to yourself, I knew I shouldn't have done this. I knew this was going to be I the was top. on the fucking, out of breath, fucking yeah. on the floor thinking, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. Fuming. At this point, we do not advocate any of this uh, business. Uh, no, kids, do not do it. Do not do it. It's not worth your time. Do not do it. Your money and uh, yeah, uh, and anything we're going to be talking Unless about. Unless you're today. bringing me in. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, don't try this at home. No. Don't be a fool. No. Um, get education. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust yeah, me. Get too. education. It's not worth it. Yeah. It ain't. Yeah. Do you do you feel like a level of? I mean, obviously, in those situations, it's hard not to feel anything else but regret. But do you feel like that way? Do you feel, man? You know, I, could... I do. I wish I got education. Really, I do. I wish I listened to my dad and got a job, mm. stuck to work. That's why I'm very proud of my kids. Mm. You know, my kids are very proud. Wicked. Very proud of you, that's, boys. That's beautiful, man. You know, and... Um, Pops on the TV, what's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> Good boys, trust me. Nice. Good boys. Nice, you know, that makes me happy. Very proud of you, very proud of you. That makes me happy that you're happy. Yeah, yeah. Very, <laughs> very proud of my boys and... Um, like, respect to my baby mum. Yeah, yeah, all day, you know, all day. Respect, respect to all the She mums. had to put up with me, fuck, you know. 
for all them years. <laughs> House getting raided, coming in, getting paint at all times of night, shaking tins and wiping them down. She'll throw a wobbly. Right, now we're getting into some nuts and bolts here. Right, so she she was she bird witnessed and we won't we'll move very quickly away from uh, baby mama. But people that are in this environment, like it's really hard for them to process the motivation of it, isn't it? Oh yeah. How is that? How's it feel? How how do you, how do you explain it to anybody? At the time, I'd be telling her to shut up, <laughs> you know, like, you know, I love Graf, you yeah. know, like, it was, it was kind of in a way with Graf, like, looking at people's tags and whatever, that kind of learnt me to read and write, you know, because I never got education, uh... you know, like, so it taught me to, you know, like, kind of spell, Yeah. you know, like, Two primary schools and three secondary schools, no education, you know, prison fucking straight away at 16, fucking, yeah. you know. It it taught me to, to kind of, you know, read and write, you know, yeah, like yeah. to not to be that kind of embarrassing dumb, you know, like can't even read a fucking charge sheet, <laughs> you know. But... um yeah, it, but I wish I did get education, though. I do. With um, with that being said, you went on a rampage with it. Yeah. You went all fucking out. Yeah. 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 You've been in prison 12 times. 12 times? Yeah, 12 times. Done quite a bit of bird. You've done a lot of bird. Yeah, you know, fucking... You must have your own towels with your names written on yeah, it, Yeah, fucking bombed up most of the most of the cells. Really? You know, Feltham, Huntercombe, North Allerton. Shipped me all the way up to fucking Scotland. Really? Six hours in a sweat box. Really? Yeah, fucking every screw in there was wearing Rolexes. Yeah, fucking... It was one of the first prisons built. It weren't... I think it was, it weren't it was like a fucking, I think it used to be a Borstal or something. Mm. And fucking, yeah, right up north, man, they hated us. Really? Twelve of us in a sweat box. Oof. You know, and then, <laughs> yeah, they didn't like us as soon as we got up there. Really? They were, yeah, trying to say to me, why am I talking black? What? Do I think I'm black, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, when was yeah. this? How old are you? I must have been about... What year did Princess die? Die. Oh, right, we're talking like 95, 96 maybe? Yeah, I think it was that time there. Because I remember the day I was getting sh shipped out, mm. it was when she died. And I remember that day, that's when... That specific time when I was in prison, or one of the times, that's when she... She actually died, so I remember that time. But there must be, like, loads of... Bro, like, I, I still staggered to think that you're sitting here with me. You're notorious. You're notorious writer. Mm. Like, yeah, that time so as well, I was, in, I, was in, I was in jail with a vent. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He was wow. in, he was in, he was in, in Felton when I was in there. And how I first knew he was in there is all the um, kitchen people would be walking by with their wife things on and you see event tags on the back of them <laughs> yeah really? you see event tags on the back of their jacket yeah incredible and then going down the corridors uh in Felton, you'd see like event tags all out on the brickwork written in chalk hmm. uh, really yeah anyone else that used to frequent you used to like, like rate or you know any oh, other loads, other cast <laughs> loads man <laughs> fucking i mean it's your generation all, as well all, wasn't yeah it? All, yeah like all the CD lot I used to look up to, yeah. you know, fucking, yeah, um, like fucking foam. Mm. Oh, huge, yeah. Remember he used to come down to Harrow and everyone used to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to scary cat, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. As soon as they heard yeah, foam was coming, everyone used to, not, not every, I'm not saying everyone, but a lot of people. There was a nervous energy in the area. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, yeah. Imagine that not notoriety. That's that's uh, in itself is, is you know it's admirable. Like, yeah. I love that. Fuck. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, what was it like the first time you went? You stepped into a yard. Oh. Do you know what? I used to love it. Really? Yeah. Like fucking people used to even say. I don't know. If, I think I've heard it on thing, but even Neasden Yard. Mm. I used to go there on a Sunday mm. when it used to be the football one. I remember one time I got raided in there and <clears throat> where they got the big floodlights up fucking high on every yard, which mm. thing, knees in yard, it actually they let off a siren like a bomb's gone off. You know that one? No that big siren. Way. Yeah, that's going off around the whole of knees then saying that we're in the yard. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. And getting, so, so and getting what the raided. What's that like? I mean, that's the that's noisy. That shit. That is fucking. It's deafening. Everyone's noisy. scattering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where we were little and this and that, it was it was it was funny. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was a buzz for us. It was a buzz. We used to actually going in Neasden Yard, me and my little brother, and that fucking trying to find other writers stash of paint and that. You know? Mm. Yeah, like thinking right. It was in Neasden fucking yard. Yeah, used to have like. The old Met, like, uh, disused one up at the top mm -hmm. with all the windows smashed and everyone used to, like, plot in there, you know, like, scoping the yard, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, and we'd be looking everywhere for... We did find loads of paint, you know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, <laughs> your paint got clapped. <laughs> we had other oh, ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I didn't put you up. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we used to find loads of paint, you know, fucking... And going, in, going into yards and all that, because we were little... This would be like an adventure for us, you mm. know. Getting brought home by BTs, getting bagged in these yards. And me, my little brother and the next geezer bringing us home as we were young and outside outside the, our house. Um, we used to take the piss out of the police anyway, you know, as we were little, little runner mouths, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, what did you used to say to them? We used to just, you know, just gun them, you know, just everything, you know, just trying to hurt their feelings, yeah. you know. We we didn't really care anyway, because with my mum and dad anyway, they hated the police anyway, mm -hmm. you know. So in, in front of the police, my dad is ruthless, you know. Really? Fucking typical Irish man, isn't it? you know, fuck off, you know, to them, like, you know, like... But behind the door, and it was still get a kick up the ass, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, get handled in other ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad wouldn't fucking think. My dad would punch you, you know. We used to get beaten with sticks a lot. My really? dad would fucking even beat my broken arm, you know. Fucking really? Yeah, my dad's brutal, brutal. But you know, my dad was ruthless bringing us up. You know, like even when we used to come home late. You know, I had to be home before it was dark and everyone else is still out. Mm. Uh, and we're trying to run home, you know. Because you know you're going to get yeah. war beat. Yeah, like my, my dad, he'll punch, you know. But what we used to quickly do was try and get under him and then run up the stairs. My dad won't run. <laughs> <laughs> Just quickly get up them stairs and run into our room and lock it. Does that impact you in your your way of thinking that, you know, you get such a severe... There were yeah. such severe consequences? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's, I wasn't scared of the police, I was scared of my dad. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then he'd always say to us, you know... He, he'd mainly give us a beating because we got caught. Mm -hmm. You know, would you go around with your name on your back? Mm -hmm. You know, fucking... But he, he never encouraged us. Well, he, he did in a way. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was it, by the sounds of it, he, he just didn't want you getting caught. He didn't care what you did. He just yeah, didn't want you getting caught. Yeah. You seem to me like, like you, and I'm sure the audience will clock this, you, you're warming up and it feels like you're getting, it's almost like a, it, it's, it's a, a self a self lesson here. You know, and I, I get this every time someone comes around. I always feel like, fuck, man, like, we've unlocked a few. Musings that maybe yeah. you've thought before. Yeah, you know, like it takes me a bit of time to warm up anyway for things. Really, yeah. you know, like what's the preparation time for you know 
setting off on a mission. Well, look how long it took me to get here. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, yeah. Because trust me, bro, like, what was it? Two... I've let you down for time. Yeah, it was like three years in the making. Yeah, this. People yeah. think that people just roll through here, like, after patting it up. And uh, mm. it's just a blessing, man, because it, it could just as well have never happened. Yeah, yeah. I am a lazy shit as well, you know. Really? Yeah, well, what, nothing it's... personal. <laughs> <laughs> but what motivates you? What makes what What does motivate you? Um... A lot of things, really. I don't doubt it. Give me examples. Things. You? <laughs> Bless you, yeah. Truth, like, you know, like, you're a nice person, you know, like, comfortable to be around and, you know, got a lot of respect for you as well, you Thank know. Thank you, my brother. You know, so, yeah, just getting up and stop being lazy. <laughs> it's really hard, isn't it? Because it it's is, a cycle. It is, I'm fucking getting old. <laughs> yeah, but getting also old. I think depression plays Yeah, a big yeah, but I suffer from all that as well, you know. <laughs> fucking life, ain't, as I said, ain't been easy, you <clears> know. <throat> fucking mental health, you know. <clears throat> Life's been, you know, everyone does worry deep mm. down, you know. Mm. People asking you, you're okay. The first thing you're going to say is, yeah, mm. I am, innit, mm. you know, but... But deep down, you're not. Yeah. With me, I, it's hard for me to explain myself as well, mm. you know, like, you know, get very embarrassed as well, you know. It's like, but, but probably because, the... there, because there ain't people here and I can't see you, you know. It's calm, yeah. It's yeah, calm. It's, it's more easy, you know. I don't mm. like audiences or think I'm the centre of attention. Yeah, no. I think a lot of writers are like that. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people suffer. From uh, that. Like I've been bigged up loads of times, you know. Like, oh my god, is that you? Blah blah blah. But to me, I don't look at myself like that. But I look at people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't give myself any respect, or I don't think I'm the greatest. I always the people I look up to, I think they're the greatest. You know, not myself. I don't think I've done enough. But you don't think you've I done know? Enough? No, I, I don't think. But I know I've done more than people. Yeah. You know, there's people who, who come back and say they've done this and they've done that from a thing, but they ain't really done, for me personally, they ain't done really that much. Really? Yeah. Do you think a lot of that's like urban myth? Yeah, there's these people like like to talk shit, yeah. you know, truthfully, like, yeah, man, right back in the day, yeah, man, I did this and I did that. No, you didn't. Really? Yeah. Really, you, see, you can clock that a mile off? Yeah, yeah. Some people ain't got no shame. Really? <laughs> yeah, some people ain't got. They thinking, yeah, like I'm. I'm a better writer than this person, or I did this and I did that. No, you didn't. Mm. That's truth. Mm. <laughs> Something that's, that's what true. Desire and Tish both said. It's like, and they talk, when when I heard that on there, mm. I knew exactly what they were on about. Yeah. I knew exactly what they were on about. Yeah, I've... and I, I was like, hats off to them because. Yeah. That is true in in the graph game, and people, a lot of people have tried to come back and have come back thinking they have come back. Mm. You're talking rubbish. <laughs> Trust me. I didn't, well, I don't even want to say no names to embarrass you, but you're lying. Really? Yeah. Is it is it like one or two particular people? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have they been on the podcast? They have. Have they? They have. Yeah. Mm. But I don't want to embarrass them. No, I, no, no. And I don't want to. I shouldn't have really said it. But... No, it's calm. We've got four hundred and fifty to choose from. So yeah, yeah, have a look. Yeah. <laughs> but you know who you are, though. Really? Yeah. Be honest with yourself. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's truth. Wow. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to hot people up, or you know what I mean? This or that. I don't want to start no trouble, or mm -hmm. I don't mean to like cast a cloud yeah, on like, anyone. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't want to really, like, come and say it on here either, you know, like... No, 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 listen, I, but, I, I understand, you know, because but, for, for some people, they won't come on because of characters like that that have said something, and there's no grounds to, you know, re reset that uh, uh, opinion yeah. because it's out there in the world. I appreciate that, and yeah. unfortunately, that's one of the things about yeah, yeah. documentation. I didn't, I didn't really want to say it or come on and put a thing, but yeah. No, no, it's calm, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, there's a lot of people that are really going to be really pleased that you're yeah. here. Um, let's get back to the let's get back to the uh, the yards. What was it like when you first when you first uh, sniffed the yard and you got in? Like you must oh. have been fucking panic in your pants. You know what? Even with the thing, I used to get such a buzz. Yeah. Even off the smell of paint. Really? Yeah. And I don't... Even when I'm doing graph lately, it's not... I still want that energy or that buzz I used to get when I was a kid. Mm. It's hard to explain. Even when you used to hear the, um, the generators going off on the train, like, 
or you hear it kind of <laughs> shut down thing. You kind of get shook thinking, oh, you're getting raided. Wow. You know, and like you're ready to run. And uh, it's hard to explain, but is there a smell wow. to the? Is there a smell to the yard? Is there a? Is is it a certain oil? Is it a certain? Yeah, it was a. It was. It was dampness. Yeah, a bit, a, the bit, a bit, a lot of bit of this and a bit of that. Mm. Uh, you know, was, I've not been big here. I think I've done nearly every yard in in England anyway. Mm. Underground. Mm. I'm not really a big fan of BR yards. Mm. For me personally, Graf, strictly underground. Mm. And me, it's always been the big met. Mm -hmm. you know? yes. yeah, it's always been the big met and the little met, mm. you know? And yeah, it's... Even all the paints you used to get from back in the day, it's just... And caps. Yeah. The trade uh, well, of caps. You know, shit. like... When the first ground, it was car plan, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, fucking water, chrome spectras, and yeah. the cover plus from Woolworths. Mm. Fucking yeah, yeah. It's just U spray, U spray. Yeah, yeah, U spray. Now that's yeah. a new Amorites. Yeah, smooth right. Smooth right. That's smooth the right, one. Yeah, smooth right. Yeah, and obviously bunts in it. Yeah. Well, their bunts were their top drawer, weren't they? Yeah, and then they brought out a double bunt. Did they? Yeah, they brought out a double bunt for a while. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Flowmaster Ink. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Literally. they actually brought out silver of it. That that stuff is amazing. Yeah, at least to raise it from Uxbridge. Did you? We had one plot back in the day, Uxbridge. Yeah, and then you know, like fucking Edding in it from mm -hmm. you know. 850s were the kind of best ones that I liked. And then like you, the set, you sever the kind of tip so that you makes it more moppy. Yeah, that was fucking aroma. Yeah, fucking when we were little, we he actually showed he actually showed us that. Really? Yeah. So it was remember, aroma. Yeah, wow. it showed like me and my brother and that when we raised them. It was Edin Edin 800s back in the day. They used to be the metal ones, mm -hmm. you know. They brought out the cheap plastic ones years mm -hmm. later. They were they're not, they weren't the same. Mm -hmm. um, when we raised them, I remember being at her on the hill, and I, I, he probably won't remember it anyway. Fuck him. He he actually thing and he did it with the lid, and he actually did it for us. And he kind of turned it from an eight hundred into like an eight fifty. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, like nice and thick, like spread. Yeah, and, thick. and fuck him. Game changer. Yeah, and doing all, you know, like the insides then, isn't it? You know, fucking, yeah. Mm. And get, I remember one time we, well, it was a lot of all the writers on, on the carriage from Wembley Park to Finchley Road. Everyone's bombing the insides. Was, I used to love the Mets back in the day. Was, they were, that's how I used to love the trains. Mm. Every outside, you see like fucking whole cars, window downs, mm. all in like all the insides would be stained up. And then mm. we got to, got to Finchley Road, and then getting on the on the Met back to back to Wembley. Mm. Next minute, we got rushed rushed by BTS, and where he, one of the doors before you go into the next carriage, mm -hmm. stood on there, and he put his hand like. That to you know, like to block the door. In front of it, yeah, to block the door. Yeah, yeah. we went under his arms, <laughs> and uh, he he kind of let us go because we were like little kids, as I said, mm. and he didn't think it was nothing to do with us, and he let us kind of go under his arm, mm. but he was stopping everyone else. And I, I remember Giza. I think he used, he ripped f fro fro. Yeah, yeah, and he was from okay. East, right. and I remember then he's pulling everyone off the car off the carriage at Finchley Roads, and we were standing like back, like pretending it's nothing to do with us. Yeah. And I remember the BT saying to him, "Like undo your jacket, undid his jacket, and a bag of paint fell out." Yeah. And he was like, "Oh my God!" Like they nicked him. <laughs> they nicked him. Yeah. Yeah, they nicked him. And I remember he was from East London and he was screwing because he was miles away from home. 
and he'd probably be in trouble by his parents. Yeah. Mm. How long? How old have you been at that time? Yeah, I must have been about fucking eleven years old, twelve years old. Wow. Yeah. You were like born into the game, bro. Yeah. Mm. Is it like it? So many questions. So many questions, but but a lot of these questions derive from a time which was so different to now. I know. I loved growing up, growing up on the undergrounds. Loved it. You were railway children. Yeah, we you were. Fucking were. Even even the the ticket inspectors knew us, and because we were little kids, they we had like a bond with them. So they were kind of allow us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I remember even Tish saying about yeah. travel cards and all of that. You know, we used to sell them for a pound. Yeah, yeah. You know, fucking going going up to going out to Ritmansworth, you know, all out to them bumpkin plots and, you know, like, and there'll always be travel cards there and all that, innit? So mm. that'll be that be our money for the day, you know, go and buy a five-pound drawer of ash. Mm. <laughs> you know? But it's so much energy, isn't it? Yeah. Just to raise some money. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like the, everything's reactive. Yeah. Do that to get that, get that, yeah. do this. Yeah, yeah. It must be knackering. Fucking was. It is. And all the trouble that would ensue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these these scary fucking times. Fucking is, yeah. But these days I don't get bail. That's why WNB and it won't make bail. You know, catches up with you. Really? Yeah. To a degree. It's very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just graph. Yeah, I'm raising. Just craft does that. Yeah, but it's just getting fucking harder. Harder. Well, as you get older. Yeah, it's not as easy as it used to be. Because I haven't seen many pieces. From I know. For a while. I know. You used to jump on the line every day and just go to the back carriage and yeah. you'll see a writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but these days. You don't do that no more. I always go to the back carriage. I'm, yeah. I'm on the line nearly every day. Yeah. You know, but it's it's not the same anymore. You don't see no one really travelling anymore. Yeah, you don't see you don't see you don't see. I've seen a few runners lately, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen There's a few banging, runners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, things are active. Yeah. But but maybe for you because you've been you sidestepped a bit. Yeah. And a game. I mean, yeah, like but I ain't done a lot of graph, but I'm on the line every day. Hmm. You know, a lot a lot of it is ain't been. Doing graph, but I'm always looking out the window at it. Why aren't you doing Do, graph at the moment? Because of the because of the bail thing. Yeah, no, that as well. But um, I'd love to paint a train every day. Mm. I'd love to. Is it is it a test of because it is a test of stamina, isn't it? It's not just the name you flag. It's the it's the the bragging rights and the power of you as a person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's it's almost like your reputation needs to be one of as much... Um, yeah, you have, to do, you have to be noticed and, like, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Aggressive. Yeah, you, you, like, you, you, have to, you have to earn it. Yeah. You have to earn it, you know. But there's a lot of people who have earned their stripes and... They're not even bothered about being in certain crews or whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. They just put themselves up, you know, yeah. and they've smashed it. But take my hat off to them, you know. Yeah. But I suppose where certain people are putting up crews and all that, they prob they probably know that they're not going to bump into certain people, so or they don't know the graph game that good, or they think yeah. they do, but they haven't bumped into the them sort of people who would beat them up, mm. you know, because they they're around. They they that's what graffiti is founded it's, upon, it's, isn't it? I know certain certain writers that if it was something to do with them and that, they would have got their heads stamped on. Really? Yeah. And I, I would have felt sorry for them, but I wouldn't have. Mm. I would have felt sorry for them because if that person would have caught them. Yeah. You'd be fucked, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. But uh, but then I wouldn't because you're taking a piss. Mm -hmm. You're taking a piss. Have you seen a lot of that kind of action over the years? Yeah, yeah. Has it happened to you before? 
In what way do you mean? That you you know you got jumped on for something or something or other like anything you know. Well, uh, no, I haven't done anything. I, I wouldn't put up anyone's crew or. But yeah, I've had my beef with certain certain writers. Mm. You know, taking a piss or this or that or. I know there's a lot of people out there who hate me. <laughs> you know. Blatantly hate me, you know, but won't say it to me, mm. you know. Or there's people who wouldn't even give me my respect or wouldn't even put me up or, you know, just hating, mm. just hating. But with me, I'd always give that person their respect, you know, or I'll take them, my hat off to them. Yeah, you're a very respectable guy. I don't, yeah. you know, I don't get for a second that you would, you know, it would be reciprocated like that for yourself. Yeah, you know, like... Uh, when when I was younger, I used, to, I used to look up to all of them lot, you know, all the CD lot, mm. all Desire and all them lot, mm. and, you know, as I said, they're all my idols, you know, and I've still got respect for them. Mm. And for me, like, I do get embarrassed and scared, you know, even though I'm old, you know what I mean? Like, How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 46. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm only a year uh, older than you, bro. I'm a granddad. <laughs> You're a granddad? <laughs> yeah. See, I'm 40, what am I, 45 this year. So I ain't too far off from you, bro. Yeah, I'm 47 this year. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We just got to keep on going, mate. That's yeah, <laughs> I'm still young at heart. But you, again, just, that just highlights to me, that echoes in my mind that, that for my age and what you had seen, mm. at maybe a younger age that I might have been, that's a seismic amount. It's such a different contrast to, yeah. to, to, to the world in which people know it. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, hell yeah. And then they're uh, like, yeah, they've got it. <laughs> yeah. Because now you can just put uh, anything up on the internet and you you become that person. You become yeah. your own superman. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to earn it, but build, work. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, craziest, craziest graph story. Give me one of them craziest, oh my God, the fuck happened there stories. Yeah, in fact, give us a couple. <laughs> Here we go, the uh, memoirs. This is where the book comes in handy. I nearly killed myself in Romania. What? Yeah, the first night I got there, Romania. Went out there to go and paint. And I jumped over the railing, thinking the fucking a security guard was behind me. And it weren't. It was fucking... It was Tox. No way. <laughs> Tox was running behind me, and I thought he was a security guard because, I th because it was I was I thought I was ahead of him. Hmm. But where I turned my head that way, he's gone behind me. So he's behind me now. Yeah. So instead of me being the last person, it was him. Wow. So when we we're running, it was the first night we got there. We didn't even know anything about the country. <laughs> And then um, we just crossed the tracks. What we what we were told later on that night when we met these other riders there, that what we'd done, we shouldn't have done anyway. <laughs> yeah, so it was... A bit peak. Yeah. And then so what it is, right, the, the trains would run along the fucking platform, like, you know, like an underground station. Yes. And then, say, like, where all the billboards were on that side of the, the station, yeah. right? Behind that, that's where the trains would be. Got you. Yeah, so it's like a like it's like yeah, yeah. It's so like a layup. It. Yeah, it's yeah. like a layup behind behind the, the, that. The, 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 the yeah, post, yeah, yeah. So we cro we crossed the tracks there, jumped over. So and then when you there's a train there. So when you go along the next part, we had to climb over, and then there's a, a pathway then where mm. like the security walk mm. along. Mm. So we're walking down this exploring. You mm. know, like is there any security there? Walked all the way down. Next minute, a security guard. Did come out the door, mm -hmm. so now he started screaming in Romanian. So we just turned around and started towing it, and then running, 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 got all the way to the end where we got on, and then I just looked behind me and see Tox right next to me, and I thought he was a security guard. So I'm shitting myself yeah, now. Yeah, He's yeah. gonna grab me. Yeah. So I just grabbed the railing and jumped over, but. Where it is, the railing say up here, and then the it's bottom of the high, thing yeah. there where the train is, like it's the, the drop, it's yeah. the drop. So 
I flew over there and then lost my balance and then fucking dropped to my leg and fell back and head by the track. <gasps> and if that was the like the third rail over here, the underground, I would have been electrocuted and dead. Straight up to the head? Yeah. And got up, looked up and seen it was tox. Quickly crossed the tracks then and fucking then the platform's kinda higher then and trying to jump on the platform with fucking nothing to grab onto. It's like eh. got up. Got up the stairs and we're trying to run. We don't know where we are. Mm. We're trying to like, where's the exit? Oh, sounds like a nightmare. And then it's fucking, you see like army dudes come running down. They're obviously coming to raid the fucking where we just got on top. Stop it. But kind of, they looked at us, but where we were kind of tourists, you know, like yeah. we kind of got a blight. Really? Just, yeah, and it's got out of there. So we just started talking to him very fast. Yeah, and we just we just you know like talking to ourselves, like talking shit, trying to act normal, you know. Mm. And then they looked at us where we weren't like being kind of shook and yeah, 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 you just chilling, breath, yeah. you know, like just you know, you know, pretending we're oh, yeah, 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 know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but they're still looking at us like, is it them or not? Yeah, yeah. And then just got out of there. And yeah. Wow. Yeah, Romania. Romania. Yeah. Yeah, the Mirror World Tour. Yeah. Hey, where else have you been? Uh, Paris. How was that? Love Paris. Paris is beautiful. Love it. In the catacombs we were and everything. Man. Stop it. Yeah, trying to find that the thing with all the skulls and Yeah, and I love all that. Army tanks meant to be down there and everything. Wow. Yeah. So what did you paint train there? Paint bear trains there. Really? Yeah, love their system, man. Love it. I'd go back tomorrow to Paris. Really? I just love how it's all underground and... Mm. Yeah, done bear holes. And they got the double trains as well. They yeah, yeah. Double yeah. motherfuckers. And people don't even really pay attention to you out there. No. You could just start... We were just bombing everything we wanted to. No one don't even bat a rally. No, no one cares, do they? No. Different mentality. Yeah. And then, That's why but, street bombing, bombing's so good out yeah, there. Yeah, but every van's bombed, in it? And fucking yeah. outside of yeah. houses and... But it's like they've got two sets of police out there and they've got fucking the army. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fucking, yeah, love Paris. It's the vibe, love isn't it? it? You know, bombing the Eiffel Tower and everything. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, tell me more stories. I want more uh, graphic descriptions of the crazy, another crazy type. Let's talk about the Big Met because, you know, this was, as noted by Tish, Everyone's at, you know, mainstay place to, yeah. Know, to, to talk to me about that. Talk to me about that 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 period. Like, yeah, as I said, like fucking, it's like they had the fast met in it. It was like a red roof. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it had the red red roof, and then yeah, you're just seeing fucking tilt blockbusters, whole cars and cast. Loving his pieces and that, you know, just fucking talented, didn't it? And yeah. fucking, it's like it's natural. And fucking, you know, used to love to see him set free. Mm. It was like when we were kids, and that's just seeing them not in the yard, and that's just fascinating, mm. you know. Yeah, you used were to, hear, to, used to Yeah, used to hear that fucking, when the yard used to get raided, he used to hide in the bush. And then when it used to thing, he'd run back and finish off. <laughs> yeah. That sort of yeah. notoriety, wow. Oh, yes, I cuss her and all that. Yeah, yes, I yeah. bad man. Um, you must have learnt so much off of these dons. Oh, yeah. 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 Info, rest in peace. Info, rest in peace. Uh, Noza. Them mm. Spanish geese. I remember we were at his house when he was going back to Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Info, man. Mm -hmm. Sad when he died as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know. You used to actually see him in Labrador Grove doing pieces and that. So he used to live on the Harrow Road, didn't he? Ah, oh, right, OK. Yeah, he used to live on the Harrow Road. I mean, he used to live on one of the avenues. Mm. And uh, I can still actually remember how he used to look and everything. He was, he was a... Big geezer, like, mm. not, but fucking talented. Mm -hmm. Fucking, like him and Noza. Mm. Yeah, used to, yeah, Asia. Asia. <gasps> yeah. I heard he lives in some mad country now as well. Up in Does the mountains, it? I heard. Really? Yeah. Escaped. Yeah. 
It's funny how... Another gives a concept. Concept. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. And him. if you want to check any of these, rockinthecity.com is where you'll find, yeah. like, some of these amazing... You know, just archive of yeah. awesomeness, yeah, man. A Fuji. Fuji. Spasm, yeah, yeah. All them, like, when he's... Chain? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Serious. Yeah. PIC? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I used to see a lot of these kind of reaches around my way when I was a kid mm. in Halston. Yeah. Yeah. Acrid? Yeah. I actually see some of these... Like, I was watching some documentaries yesterday. He's just back. He's... And, I, and I see that throw up A he used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cherish? Cherish. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my yeah. God, Cherish, yeah. yeah. Well done. An event, of course. Yeah, event, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy times. Yeah, but it's like everyone was meeting on yeah, was like her on the hill. You just couldn't go there without really seeing writers at the bottom of the platform. Mm. You know, it's wish it was still like that. Mm. I wish it was. Is that is that wisdom in a way that perhaps it's not so much like that? Because you probably would you be there now? Yeah, you would. I was at her on the hill. I've nearly. Passing her on the hill every day, really. Really? Yeah, going to visit someone, you know, wherever they, I'm not going to say where they live, but, yeah, raising her on the hill every day. <laughs> does it does it connect with you every time? Do you always think to yourself, fuck, that was... That yeah, happened? yeah, always. No matter what, whenever I go through a hair on the hill, I always remember it as a little kid. Really? Yeah. Like, even going to Rickmansworth Yard mm. when we were kids, you just go through a hole in the fence. Mm. How many, how many trains do you think you've done over your time? Quite a lot. Give me your fourth hand. Can you... Can oh, you... I couldn't say how many. Really? Yeah, Too many. Like, like, yeah, like, not being big-headed or nothing. Yeah, I've done a it's lot. It's your podcast. You're big, yeah, big-headed, no, I've, done, I've, I've done a lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've done, as I said, I've done nearly every yard, you know, X amount of times. Yeah. You know, yeah, I've done a lot. Yeah. Not said I'm any good. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're uh, uh, repetition's you know key, I, I, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I can't. I can't. I'm not really a good painter. I'm not to tell the truth. I, I still can't even get 3D right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when I but when I'm looking at other people's stuff, you know, what I mean, some people are fucking like desire. Mm. Bad man. He, it's like it just comes out natural. It's like they've got a go-go gadget finger with a fucking... Shoo. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Oh, Sometimes just, watching it, it just makes you just feel ill. Oh, it's yeah, just like, yeah, oh, well, can that be translated yeah. from a mind to the, to, to the oh, surface? You know, this zombie, you know? Yeah, yeah zombie. You know, well. them characters, I can remember from the first ones to mm. now how, they, how they've ch- transformed, mm. you know? Fucking them bozo, innit? Just yeah, still, bozo. Uh, fucking them lot are just like, it's like it's natural to them, innit? Yeah. It's like, you know, I take my hat off to them. Merck. Merck yeah. is a crazy writer. Yeah. What a, an amazing artist. Yep. <sighs> and rest in peace to all them writers who ain't around anymore, man. Yeah. yeah rest no, in peace, Rest man. in peace. We kind of do these... Sh- I feel we do these shows for them people. Yeah, man. Because um, you know, it's sad. Oh, yeah, you know, I don't know when we're gonna go. What's the repercussions of all this lifestyle, brother? Boy, drugs, addiction, alcohol. Everyone's got something, is not they? Yeah. You know. Have you have you suffered? Um, yeah. In those worlds? Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of stuff. I'm not proud of. Mm. You know. Everyone's got an addiction to something, you know, and it's not nice, mm. you know. Life's a struggle, you know. But just, just try and fight it. Mm. That's all I can say, you know. Life ain't easy. Mm. You know, loads of us have made choices we're not proud of, you know. They can be the smallest of incremental things. Yeah. That would like the butterfly effect. Yeah, the ripple effect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just that's one thing I think for our ages we we do understand. Yeah, which I think is called karma. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best we don't talk too much about karma because yeah, it does, life's uh, a bitch. <laughs> it does come and get you eventually. Yeah. 
It does. It does. What scares you? At 46. Really. At 46, what, what, what scares you? A lot of things, really. Yeah? Yeah. My kids making sure they're okay, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, even though I don't show it that much, kids, but I do love you. Beautiful. You know, mm -hmm. um, my grandson, mm. you know, how life's going to be, you know, his life ain't getting easier. Mm. Especially all this fucking knife crime. Mm. And all these little shits these days running around, you know, fucking people getting bullied and all that. It's, Ain't nice. Do you think about... But th there was that back in the day. Yeah. There were big graph uh, Yeah, yeah. You you know know, as I say, a lot of people... We've done stuff we're not proud of, mm. you know. Very not proud of. Yeah. You know. Stupidity. How do you settle them scores? How do you... Yeah, how do you settle that? Demon-like... Where you say, oh, fuck, like, how do I make that apology? Or how do I put this to rest in my head? Me, truly, like, me, you know, when I do say sorry and all that, I do mean it. Mm. It's a hard word for me to say, mm. you know, but when I do say it or when I do give someone an apology or thing, I do mean it. Mm. Otherwise, I say, fuck off, mm. you know, it's simple, you know. But, yeah, we've all done bad shit. <laughs> yeah, we have. Of course. And moving forward, what's the future hold from Mr. Mirock? More graph. More graph. You want to do more? Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. I'll be back. A million percent. The energy's back in. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. Graph kept me out of trouble as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of people say. Yeah, you know, kept me out of trouble. Kept yeah. my mind occupied as well, you know. As I say, life ain't been easy at the same time. You miss it though, don't you? Yeah. As I say, I'm always looking out every day at Graf or to see who's been around or mm. who's still on it. Mm. You know. It, as I said, it, it I'd still be looking at graph till I'm an old man, a million percent. Mm. Yeah, no. It's so habitual, isn't it? It's like yeah. looking. Like you say, just sit down and... I don't even look at my phone, bruv. I'm on the train just watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the first thing I do. Yeah. I want to be next to the window, yeah. looking straight out. Yeah. Who do you rate at the moment? Who, who are you rating at the moment? Right-wise. Because, you, you know, you're, you're a study too, as well as a, 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 a yeah, trailblazer. Uh, everyone, really, who's... Even the... Who I mentioned from back in the day, you know, it's diet, mm. zombie, mm. you know, desire, obviously, and mm. all the CD lot, mm. you know. Yeah. Everyone who's who's starting to come back slowly, you know, just. It's good to see, isn't it? Yeah. Does that give you kind of? Does that inspire? Yeah. Yeah. Really. It does. It does. It makes me reminisce as well, you know. Yeah, but this is the beautiful thing, Ralph, because yeah. you've got all of that. Yeah, I know. All these l skill sets with graph yeah. that you can utilise, but with a 2023 20, onward model. Yeah. The paint's different, the cap's yeah, different. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Different. There's a lot of shit out there fucking these days. I, I, You're it's like... new to me. <laughs> 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 fucking, I don't even know half of the stuff that was, you know... Yeah, fucking, there's a lot of shit out there, boy. Mm -hmm. There is. It's exciting, right? Yeah. It's like a kid with a new toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all that's to be said then is that uh, we'll expect to see you... Hell yeah. ...raising hell. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, You're my brother. You're welcome, mate. You're my welcome. Guy. Thank you, brother. Honestly, it's been a real fucking pleasure You're getting to welcome. know you. You're welcome. Big up, everyone. Yeah. Love is in the room. Mirox in the building. WMB, come on, man. So, look, you know what time it is. Don't try any of this stuff at home because it could kill you. And it's not fun. Your parents don't want it. Your girlfriend don't want it. No one wants it. Just the audio. Delicacy of a gentleman that's had decades of action. 
reciting some amazing tales, some stories, and some future thoughts, man. Big up me, Rock. Killer Keller podcast, out like him was out of fashion, you know what time it is, sharing is caring, tell a friend to tell a friend. Crime don't pay, but neither do they. Don't talk to an R, I wouldn't. Be lucky, people. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get another drink.